All right, guys. Adrian Lang back here for another video, and um, I only have one thing to say about this world. It is simply awesome. It's crazy. That's how awesome it is. Only thing bad is the random lighting glitches, which are really weird. Okay, get rid of these, update this, and this too, and this, oh god, look at that, what, is this a, what, wait, hold on, hold on, okay, this is a cave, okay, that's not a lighting glitch, but what, this is, this is a lighting glitch. Oh, that's crazy. It's humongous lighting. Um, it's a big cave, though. Okay. Update. 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 Ah, it's so much better. And we have this again. Th didn't I just update this? No. Okay. No. Apparently not. And this too. Overall, this looks like a really fantastic seed. So, <clears throat> if you look over there, you'll see my bed, which is finished. Um, my home, actually, I might say. I'm definitely working on it. And so, you see, we hit up here, we have a nice little door, and... Walk in here. And we close the shutters. You walk out. You see the pistons are extended. I actually think it looks better with pistons extended. It looks cooler. But oh well. Uh, not gonna complain. So today we're going to make um Uh, day and night sensor and attach that to the to this so that and I want to make it so that if the if the day and night sensor is true which means that if the if it's nighttime I'll have it attached to an anti gate so it means even if I step on that um it won't activate it will only activate at night so let's make that first so we're going to need grass blocks, um, the redstone kit, which is redstone wire, redstone repeaters, some torches, I already had repeaters, redstone torches, where are the redstone torches, um, here, we also need a button, and a block of water, we have that, is that it? Oh yeah, piston, piston, sick piston. Stick piston here and a regular piston. So let's get started. So what we want to do is we want to dig out a nice little hole. You know what? Let's just, let's just have this all exposed. Don't care about any of this. Uh, what should we call it? You know what? Screw it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna make it, and I might make it over in here. Yeah, I might make it in here. Uh, so let's build a branch out. Completely made of grass. So. I don't like the look that grass has in the night. I mean, in these mountain biomes, it looks really ugly and dead. But who cares? Not me. 
Okay, we have this land to work with. Okay, this looks good. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna want to start with. Oh, these clouds are gonna be annoying, aren't they? No, scratch this. Scratch it. Scratch it. Um, let's just make. Let's just make it exposed out here. So we're gonna want to start with a ring around the rosy. Um. And the block on top of that. Another ring around the rosy, but we're gonna remove the block. Um, so we get is this like uh, hourglass looking thing. I don't know what. Then you go up another block, two blocks actually. So there's just one box space in between. We build another ring, and this is basically the grass water container thing. So, uh, next, we're gonna put piss in here, on this side, and block in front of that, then, um, they pull that up here, we're going to block, and hold on, hello, hello, um, so, let's put a torch here, actually, I'm not confused. And then Peter um, block here. Redstone. Uh, block on top of that, actually. Redstone torch. Remove this block. Um, then we're gonna have block here. We're gonna run that along so that. Oh no, it's a feeded back loop. So this is a bud switch. Um, it's a simple bud switch. Uh, but such is a block update detector, so we put a block here, it provides a pulse. Put a block there, it provides another pulse. And so, yeah, there's another way to do this actually. You can have an integrated um, T flip flop with the butt switch, just as I did um, under here. Oh, wow, I didn't know that was right above my house. Um, well, you can have an integrated T flop flop as there, but you know, this is nice. I like it compact. And I also like to. It's just more fun. I bet you can. I hope you can understand me. Okay, so um, then we're going to want to wire it around. Um, all the way around <clears throat> to here. You want to put a knot gate and inverter. Um, and you want to build up. And you're going to go. Few blocks here and now the T flip flop. So first we're gonna put our piston here. It's a water control. And um, then we uh, then we wanna wire dust all over there and we're gonna make a T flip flop now. Um, so start out like this. Um, sticky piston facing that uh, facing that way, and I'll put like two blocks like that. No, no, no! Uh, did I mess in, did I mess, in, mess anything up? Uh, no, it didn't. Wow. Okay. Um. Okay, we're gonna two blocks on top of this and build them out like this. And you wanna put piss in there. So now we're gonna put torch here. Torch here. Uh. We're gonna run wire across, it's very important. And now we're gonna wire our toggle button. So we're gonna wire this down. And it goes to a button here. And if we want, we can do this. And we can wire that 
from here. And it wouldn't hurt adding some delay, would it? So we have this going to here and wiring up to here. So this is a toggleable T flip flop, so So it's it's a memory cell, we press it once, changes, press it again, changes it another time. So what what's gonna happen is that we're gonna wire one output to activate the piston, this piston. And that output is gonna be that pulse from the blood switch. So as soon as this pulses, this is gonna turn on and off for a second. And that's gonna basically act as this button. It's gonna um do that. So actually we need to add a little delay here. We put two ticks. Oh, that will that will work. So we we're connecting the butt switch to a T flip flop, basically, essentially. Uh, so now we want to wire that over here. So actually, we're gonna want to wire two. Hmm. Should be working. Oh yes, I know, I know. Okay, um I'm gonna put a wire here actually and yes, that'll work. But now we want to toggle it. We do not want this extended at night. I mean we want this extended at night, we do not want it extended at day. So it's day right now, so I'm just going to change it to here, so it's retracted, and now the final step is to put this here, and so this is the sense, essence of this, so at night, which is this, this little thing is night, this is day, so um, at night it will do that, so I'm just going to, how am I going to do this? Oh, okay, um, so, will that work? Um, yeah, I'll work, okay, good, and we're gonna wire that, this is our output, um, actually we're gonna wire that, we're gonna wire that around town, to the actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna put no. I don't even think we need that. Oh, we needed that. Um, so let's put this here. Yep, we can put a button there anytime if we want. No, actually, you know what? We don't. We we need the button. It won't. It, it won't really matter because we're barely going to be using that. So <clears throat> we're going to wire this, and we're going to make um, this go. Let's make it go down a little to the. We're going to wire an AND gate to the um, pistons. Okay, we wired that underground. Now we're going to have to take the output, destroy this block, so that there's no confusion. Confucius, Confucius say, and we're gonna want to invert this. So um, this that'll work. 
So when that is on, I'll turn this torch on, therefore powering this block. And then we're going to wire this to an AND gate, nice, sweet, and simple. Uh, I'll end this so it's space, so much space constraints. This won't interfere with the plugs, which I hope, I seriously do hope. Um, actually, I could just do this. Okay. This and this is the output. So let's wire this um, to here, and hopefully, hopefully, let's actually light this up. It's turning night, so it's time kind to of noon. So what I'm gonna do? Um, I'm, I'm I'm so unsure about this. I wonder. Will this work if we? No, the signal doesn't reach. That's a problem. So how how? We need a computer here. Actually, how do it work if we put the signal over there? Will that work? I guess that'll work. Um, I'm just gonna power this. Oh, just barely, barely getting there. So, how do we extend that? Uh, so. Let's put it up here, here, this way, come over, just like an extra repeater basically. Oh great, okay, um, that works, should we put two here? And that works beautifully. Okay. We do not want the delay here, so I might as well just... Actually, that, that might be necessary. Yeah, because I don't think this can go one more block. Okay. So we can sacrifice one delay. And what happens when you remove this? Perfect, okay. So that is beautiful. Now let's test if our day-night sensor works. Let's exit under here. And let's just cover this up for the sake of visual pleasure. Just cover this up. I love the sound of breaking glass, it's so satisfying, don't know why, <laughs> but it just is the sound of breaking glass. Alright, that's good. Um, so now, let's test our, tip, test, uh, bleh. let's test if our thing works, our day and night sensor. Uh, let's try to set the time to midnight. Hopefully this should work. 
Actually, we should remove the torch here. We should... It would be best if we remove any... Actually, am I on bright? No, I'm not. Well, I'm thinking I also want my... Uh, might want to remove this. This. And then maybe surround this whole thing. The glass. No, the glass won't do anything. I'm just gonna make this visible to the real world. I'm wondering, is this a little too much light? Technically, this should not have enough light. That block should not have enough light for anything to grow. Actually, I might want to have to erect a barrier around the whole thing. This should just burn light from getting in. Oh, there, it fired, it fired. There we go. Just to speed up the process though, um, we might want to surround this whole thing with wood. Uh. Ah, you know what, forget it. Doesn't really matter. We can just do this. We can just do that. It's good enough. As long as the apparatus is visible. Okay, and now let's turn it to... Oh, so... Technically... Speaking during night... That'll be the only time we'll be able to fire the, the bud switch closer. So that works. Um, so let's change it to noon. Let's see. Wait, how long it takes for this to fire again? And the principle is that the grass only grows underwater. Um, in daylight, otherwise, um, it will not go. Okay, that works. It detects day faster than it detects night. This, that's just the way it goes, the grass re goes. It, it's just more efficient, like that. Um, it's always a trade off. See, the more grass, the more grass blocks, um, the more better it becomes at detecting night, but, um, the worst it becomes at detecting day. So I just decided to have it better at detecting day than night. You know, it doesn't make sense. Oh my god, lag. Okay, uh... So yeah. That, did that fire? Yeah, it fired, okay. Yeah, that fired. And that went back, so... Now... This. Yeah, that's right! It's good. That didn't fire anything, but... Actually, did that fire this? No, it didn't. Awesome. Awesome. So, this only works in the night. Um, we have this nice little viewing thing here, and yeah. So, that's been a nice job done. Oh, and by the way, I made this look pretty cool. Uh, yeah, look at it. It looks nice. I, I really like to look at this. And I might even make this into a survival map. Not survival map, like, but I might play on this as a let's play. You never know. If I might tra change myself to like this and just say, "Oh, oh that it's gonna be awesome." Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the episode off like this. It's 24 minutes. It's nice. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode like this. You know what?
Ah, there we go. Oh. Ah, right clicking. There we go. Oh, I'm so alive. Okay. I'm sorry, but I had to do this. Goodbye, world. Whee! 360. Aw, oh, yeah. So, then again, there's Agent Lag, and I'm going to listen to a block. See ya.